Mark Fagel, who had previously worked as an attorney for the Securities and Exchange Commission, discusses the possibility of a settlement in the context of the remedies phase of the Ripple XRP case. Fagel had previously worked for the SAC. Are we getting closer and closer to a parabolic run as the price of XRP continues to rise for the foreseeable future? The latest information regarding Ripple XRP, including an update on the situation, to shed some light on the question of whether or not a settlement between Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is even possible at this stage. Mark Fogel, who had previously worked as a securities lawyer for the SEC, was able to provide some assistance. This was done to shed light on the question. Two meetings in a row were held behind closed doors by the Securities and Exchange Commission, which sparked speculation about the possibility of a settlement being reached between the parties involved in the dispute. Mark Fagel, who formerly worked as an attorney for the Securities and Exchange Commission, provides some clarification on the rumors that have been going around regarding a settlement in the case of Ripple versus SEC. Uh, he reaffirmed his earlier position that the parties are not currently seeking any kind of settlement and are waiting for the decision that the district court will make regarding the remedies phase of the case. He mentioned that the parties are currently waiting for the decision. Uh, in, uh, in his statement, he mentioned that the parties are currently waiting for the decision to be put into effect. Both the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple Labs have made requests for a final judgment. These requests have been submitted. Since the lawsuit was filed, they have gone through approximately 150 of these meetings that take place nearly every week, according to Fagel in a statement released today. These meetings take place almost every Tuesday. The currency that is digital Twitter, which is a social media platform, was under the impression that talks about a settlement were taking place at each one of those meetings. However, Twitter asserts that this is most certainly the one. He made it abundantly clear that he did not accept any kind of settlement and he did not accept any kind of settlement. A meeting of the Securities and Exchange Commission is scheduled to take place, as reported by CoinGape, to discuss a wide range of topics that are associated with cryptocurrencies. There are a variety of topics that are included in this category, including the introduction and resolution of administrative proceedings and injunctive actions, the resolution of litigation claims and administrative and enforcement proceedings. In light of recent developments in the Binance lawsuit, the meeting is scheduled to take place, and it is anticipated that the primary focus of the meeting will be on resolving injunction claims or reaching a settlement in the Ripple XRP case. In light of these developments, there are rumors that the meeting will take place regardless of the circumstances. A gathering similar to this one is going to take place. Those who are involved in the market are keeping a close eye on the most recent developments in the market, and they are waiting for the meeting to produce some kind of result. They are keeping a close eye on the market. Bill Morgan, a lawyer who is in favor of XRP, expressed his excitement about the strong price action in XRP in advance of a significant ruling in the particular case while this was going on. Morgan commented that he was looking forward to the ruling. The explanation that Morgan provided was that he was looking forward to the decision. Morgan Rispoli and Fred Rispoli think that a decision will be made regarding the penalties and the injunction by the time the month of July comes to a close or the moment August. This is the opinion of the two individuals. The relative strength index is on the verge of breaking uh, a downtrend that has been going on for eight and a half years, and a bullish cross is on the horizon. Both of these events are expected to occur shortly for a considerable amount of time. Um, this downward trend has been going on. The holders of XRP are looking forward to a breakout above the symmetrical triangle pattern to make the most of the potential upside for their investment. In contrast, they are looking forward to this particular event that is going to take place. Rice has been gradually settling into the formation with greater and greater consistency throughout several years. Uh, this movement has been taking place gradually. Uh, the analyst stated that a parabolic move had always occurred after the third bullish cross on the monthly RSI. This was the case in every single instance. In addition to this, the analyst mentioned that this had always been the case because it had always been the case ever since the beginning. This was something that had been incorporated into the standard operating procedure from the very beginning of the process. To put this into perspective, the price of XRP has experienced a significant increase of 27 for the past week, and it is currently trading at $0 $0.540. Additionally, 
over the last 24 hours, there has been a 65% increase in the volume of trading, which is a clear indication of the growing interest among traders. This is a clear indication of the expansion of the market. Uh, according to recent sentiment analysis and forthcoming regulatory developments, the cryptocurrency known as XRP. P, which is associated with Ripple Labs, is displaying indications that it may return to its previous level of popularity. This is the case because XRP is likely to return to its previous level of popularity. As a result of upcoming events, this information has become available. Several points point to the possibility of a bullish trend for the digital asset. These include the bullish sentiment among investors, the imminent settlement discussion with the SEC, and the technical indicators. All of these factors point to the possibility of a bullish trend based on the sentiment metrics that were provided by the Paul Barrow network. It was determined that the overall trade sentiment was 65. The volume sentiment was 61 and the overall average sentiment was 55 to arrive at these figures. The sentiment metrics were utilized. According to the notice that was distributed by the Securities and Exchange Commission by the Sunshine Act, a uh, meeting to discuss the upcoming settlement discussion is scheduled to take place on the 18th of July. We are going to discuss injunctive actions, administrative proceedings, and the resolution of litigation claims during this meeting that we are going to have. In addition to that, we are going to talk about the establishment of these activities as well as the settlement of those activities. It has been speculated that the Securities and Exchange Commission might decide to drop its case against Ripple, which would be a defining moment for XRP. This would be a significant event for the cryptocurrency. This is something that would be very beneficial for the cryptocurrency if it were to happen. The fact that this particular date has the potential to bring about developments in the market makes it of the utmost significance when it comes to the market. According to the findings of a technical analysis, XRP may be able to advance beyond 60 cents, but it will encounter resistance somewhere in the vicinity of 62 cents. According to the findings of the investigation, this is something that could be feasible. The fact that this period has occurred may be an indication that XRP is on the verge of experiencing an upward trend as a consequence of improved sentiment and the possibility that legal issues will be resolved. That the reason for this is that there is a possibility that legal issues will be resolved. Uh, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse brought attention to several encouraging indicators for the cryptocurrency XRP during the previous week. These indicators were discussed in detail. Within the context of his presentation, he placed a considerable amount of emphasis on the significance of having a trustworthy benchmark reference rate for institutional cryptocurrency financial products. In addition, it is anticipated that the CME group will commence the launch of this benchmark on July 29th, which may be advantageous for XRP. Ripple's decision to sell its stake in MoneyGram and other companies earlier than expected was an indication that the company was getting ready for an exciting period in the future. This was a sign that the company was getting ready for an exciting period in the future so that they could capitalize on it. Also, there is a possibility that XRP could be relisted on Robinhood as early as August. This is something that could happen. Increasing the presence of cryptocurrency in the market would be a significant step toward achieving this goal. And it has been speculated that this could take place. The decision that was made by the CME group to implement a benchmark reference rate for institutional cryptocurrency products is yet another development that is worthy of praise and ought to be commended. The fact that Ripple has made adjustments to investments and that there is also the possibility that it will rely on Robinhood is another factor that contributes to the optimism that surrounds the future of XRP.